The South has a long-standing tradition of taking ingredients that are already amazing and submerging them in hot, sizzling oil. We're gonna take our flavor to the next level and bust out our deep fryer. Today in the lab, Country Fried Burger. So it's a fact, things that are fried taste really, really good. So today's burger is inspired by country fried steak, something that's really close to my heart. As a native New Yorker, first time I made a trip down south, I had country fried steak. Who knew you could do that? It was delicious. And that's what this burger is gonna be all about. And we're gonna start with brisket. Brisket's a great meat to use for your burger because it's got a high fat content to it. So if you just take some brisket, grind up the fatty part of it, you get like 80% lean, 20% fat, just by grinding brisket. We're gonna season this mildly with a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt because we're gonna have all of the spices that actually go into the crust of this fried burger. Because this burger is gonna get fried and we're actually gonna put it into a batter, we're gonna make the patty a little thinner than we might if we weren't frying the burger. Now we're gonna make our seasoned flour. And this is really the key to any southern fried food. Put a little bit of our all-purpose flour. We have some cayenne pepper, some celery seed, some black pepper, some white pepper, some garlic, and some onion powder. For this particular burger, all of the seasoning, all of the flavors right here in the flour, that's what's really gonna make this burger happen. So we're gonna take our patty, our brisket patty, and we're gonna season it in some of this flour. Then we go to our egg wash. It's just two eggs that we've just lightly scrambled. And now we're gonna go back to the flour. By going back and forth and sort of double battering this, we should be able to create some nice little ruffles in the texture. You know, all of the crevices and all the nooks and crannies in like a piece of fried chicken. Now we're gonna take our patty and we're gonna throw that in the freezer just so we can get nice and solid so that when we fry the burger, we don't overcook it. Because if it's so cold out of the freezer, it'll get nice and crispy on the outside, it'll stay nice and mid-rare in the middle. Boom, he's full of information tonight. Because <laughs> we're badasses, we're gonna freeze this thing in liquid nitrogen. Now we're gonna start talking condiments. So we're on this Southern inspired theme today. We have a Carolina barbecue sauce, which has got a high amount of acid to it, a lot of vinegar in it. And we're gonna to add to it this sweet tea syrup. So something simple like this, you can start with a ketchup or a barbecue sauce, add one or two new ingredients to it, and you have a whole new ingredient right there. So this is our sweet tea barbecue sauce. In the South, it's pimento cheese, right? Pimento cheese, if you've never had it, it's gonna blow your mind. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Here we got this cheddar cheese that we've shredded up, all right, and then we're gonna add some other ingredients to our cheese. Pimento cheese starts with pimentos, or diced red peppers. The peppers are gonna give it a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of color to it, a little bit of acidity. We're gonna add some parsley, one of my flavors that's not traditionally in pimento cheese, but a little bit of cilantro, because I like it. A little bit of mayonnaise is gonna get whisked in here as well. I was really stubborn when I came to the South. I loved polenta, I hated grits, but I've come to find that Southern food is really the only true American food. The history is so deep, there's so much soul in it, and it's just food you wanna eat every single day, so it works perfectly for burgers. You can see right there, that's a good looking pimento cheese. And now it's time, it's a moment of truth, we're gonna fry our burger. For those of you who don't have a little portable deep fryer at home, you can still do it in a pot. We're frying it at 350 degrees. So you just wanna make sure you have a candy thermometer, read the temperature of your oil, be very safe with it, but you can fry at home even if you don't have a deep fryer. You can put whatever oil you want in your deep fryer and that's how you can really change the flavor of whatever burger you're making. This could be chicken fat, duck fat, lamb fat, beef fat. Here, this is an homage to the South, so we have peanut oil in this fry. One of the things we're looking for here, obviously, is a golden brown color. Super crunchy texture. We want it to sort of feel like fried chicken, but it's a fried burger. It's a country fried burger. So I'm pulling my burger out of the fryer. You can see it's totally golden brown. It's crispy. It's ready to go. Now we're just going to let it rest for a few moments. So now we're ready to start plating. Where's my bun? The catch. Look at that. This is brioche. It's a soft bread. Soft bread, country burger. It's gonna be a great textural contrast. Now we're gonna dress our burger. So we're gonna start with a little bit of our sweet tea barbecue sauce. So now we're gonna put our pimento cheese on top of our barbecue sauce. 
Now we're gonna add our fried brisket patty on top of our big country fried burger. And then we're gonna add some bread and butter pickles, another staple of the South, bread and butter pickles, a little sweeter than they are sour, some of my favorite pickles. So we have the acidity of the pickles, the sweetness of the barbecue sauce, the savory umami from the cheese and the burger itself. This is gonna be like a flavor explosion on this burger. Man, it's amazing. Check that out. That's our big country fried burger. Make sure to click to subscribe, it's totally free, and you'll be entered to win all sorts of cool stuff that says Burger Lab on it. You love it, but how much do you really know about it? Watch Truly and the gang as they get to the disgusting underbelly of cheese. Pizza covered in mayonnaise? Sign us up to puke. Find out who's serving it on the food feeder. Who knew Gangam was Korean for delicious? Okay, that's a lie. But check out Richard Blaze's mouth-watering Gangnam-style burger. John Stage of Dinosaur Barbecue shows you how to make a manly, meaty masterpiece of a ribeye. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.